we would like to acknowledge the territorial lands. The Upper Canada District School Board is on traditional Anishinaabeg and Haudenosaunee land. With the highest respect and gratitude, we acknowledge and thank the Mohawk and Algonquin peoples, as well as all the other Indigenous peoples who now reside mm -hmm. here, who have and keep the land around us pure and full of love. This land will continue to teach us to love and respect every little thing around us, from the people to the squirrels and bugs, to the trees and plants that feed us, and we will continue the strong tradition for a long time to come. Good day. My name is Rob Bradley, and I've had the privilege of being the vice principal to this graduating class. Thank you for joining us today as we honor our graded graduates. Today we're commemorating a rite of passage. For many of you, Carleton Place Intermediate has been your home for the last two years. You have grown into the individuals you are today thanks to the love and commitment of your family, friends, and teachers. They've guided and supported you through some of the most turbulent times the modern world has ever seen. They have and will continue to equip you with the skills to take the next leap on your educational journey. That's really what we're here commemorating today, the joy that comes with moving and growing. It saddens me to be celebrating this milestone alone on a stage, instead of surrounded by our students, staff, and so many parents, guardians, relatives, and friends whom we would normally be sharing this occasion with. It is yet another reminder of the year that was and the resiliency that this class was called upon to demonstrate in order to succeed. The very core of education is creating space and opportunity to think and reason to help inform every decision we make. It is truly amazing for us to be part of a school community that raises such fine young adults as those celebrating today. Students, as a group, we have been truly impressed by the character you have shown, your leadership initiatives, your academic successes, and your team spirit. Whether in the gym, the classroom, teams, or through clubs, or even on the recess yard, you have been role models. Today marks a milestone in your lives, both for you and your parents. When you think back as to how fast the years have gone by since you entered kindergarten, if you can remember those days, I'm sure your parents can. It really has to make you think of the future and how fast it's about to arrive. You should be proud of your success. You should reflect on who has helped you along the way. Your parents, grandparents, friends, teachers, and support staff have played a large role in helping you become the person you are today. Be sure to say thank you to the people who have cared so much for you over the years. Parents, we cannot begin to express how fortunate we are to have such a supportive group of parents. When your children needed you most, you supported them with their academics and life's lessons, and you worked closely with our staff to ensure they succeeded. For this and everything else you have done, we thank you. Staff, thank you for supporting your students and teaching them about hard work and exemplifying what it means to persevere. You engage your students in their learning. You teach them about teamwork in your classes, and through the various shifts from in-person to remote learning, and back again, you motivate them, encourage them to persevere and to continue to strive to be their best. You teach them about spirit and all the fun activities you organize and with your sense of humor. You have been involved with helping our grade 8s become caring, thoughtful young adults. Graduates, your job's not done. With this transition comes great responsibility. Always try your best. Always show your best. And always persevere when times get tough. I think we can say more than any other graduating class, you've shown that ability which is why we're here today. And throughout your journey, know that you're not alone. Next year, there's a sincere hope that we can return to a sense of normalcy. When that occurs, please get involved. Join extracurriculars, sports, clubs, anything. Find your passion, find like-minded individuals, and jump right in. Focus on your studies and be respectful in everything you do, as all these skills will help you realize your dreams. Our best wishes go with you for every success and happiness in the future. Without further ado, it's my pleasure to present to you the class of 2021. Thank you. Logan Anderson. Riley Anderson. Caitlin Armstrong. Eliza Baker Hunter Barkley
Quentin Basker. Ryan Bahan. Liam Bingham. Ethan Grab Jackson Chapman. Julia Cole. Connor Cogswell. Megan Cook. Lily Cowan. Erica Cook.
Arden Craig. Sebastian Sear. Lance Dean Avery Devon
That's here. Pause. Opal. Hunter. Matthew Jackson. Honor Johnson. Paul Johnston. Jolie car. Ruby, Carissa. Carson, La Pamela. Nathan Lawson. Aiden the Tonky. Lily Lewis. Wyatt Marshall Dominic McClellan Gavin McDonald
Leslie Costello. Josh McNabb. Zach McNeely. Morgan McNulty. Mike Moritz. Jenna Moore. Cassie Motion. Emery Murphy. Amelia Newton. William Newton. I. Newton. William Logan. Connor Alina Olivia. Chloe Hazel. Patty Cantalo. James Cantalo. Melissa Hemp. Josh Peters. Madison Porteous. James Postman. Tyler Tobin Tom. Alan Purdy. Dylan 
Red Wood Brewing. Eva Sadler. Iris Sarazen. Mariah Sersa. Avery Scott Serena Scott Anna Maria Schiffer. Blair Sherman. Raiden Simpson. Destiny Stickley. Maggie Strong. Madison Tang Lily Tate Dylan Taylor Kenzie Tiger Joey Trombo Leon Vance Paige Bennett Anna 
Cameron Walker. Sage Watson. Logan Welch. Ella James. Aiden Shaylin Jones Leah Wiley The following awards are bestowed upon students who have demonstrated excellence in the subject matter. The following students are this year's recipients of the Math Award. Abby Swallow, Cole Johnston, Emery Murphy, Mai Nugan, Leon Vance. Congratulations. The following recipients of this year's English Award are Avery Devin, Lily Tate, Tuan Nugan, Andy Biddle, and Jenna McKenzie. The recipients of this year's Science Award are Sage Watson. Julia Code, Fiona Ford, Hayden Hancock, Shane Dupuy. Congratulations. The recipients of this year's Core French Award are Jenna McKenzie, Taylor Bodner, Lily Tate. Congratulations. The recipients for the French Immersion Award are Avery Scott, Jenna Moore, and Sage Watson. This year's recipient of the Geographie Award are Cole Johnson and Hayden Hancock. Congratulations. This year's recipient of the Geography Award is Leon Vance. Congratulations. The award for Histoire are Mai Tuang and Arden Craig. The recipient of this year's History Award is Quinton Basker. Congratulations. This year's recipients of the Physical Education Award are Abby Swallow, Dylan Redwood Wheeler, Alan Purdy, Fiona Ford, Joshua Peters. Congratulations.
This year's recipients of the Visual Arts Awards are Lexi Lloyd, Dylan Redwood Wheeler, Duong Nguyen, Cassie Mosher, and Josh McNabb. Congratulations. This year's recipients of the Music Award are Mai Nguyen, Tuong Nguyen, and Julie Patchell. Congratulations. This year's Drama and Dance Award go to Jenna McKenzie. Congratulations. School Spirit Award is an award given to students who demonstrate a high degree of leadership and involvement within the school community and are constantly promoting positive school spirit. Congratulations to this year's awards winners, Kieran McKenzie Ramirez, Dominic McClellan, Maggie Strong, Quinton Basker, Opal Hunter. The Trustees Award is bestowed upon students who demonstrate character both inside and outside the classroom. This year's recipient of the Trustee Award are Taylor Bodner, Arden Craig, Caitlin Armstrong, Nathan Lawson, Avery Devon, Lily Tate, Lily Lewis, Kendra Goudreau, Hayden Hancock, Zane Godfrey, Quentin Basker, and Matthew Jackson. Congratulations. The Principal's Award. The Principal's Award recognizes a student who possesses traits associated with excellence in character and effort. They are someone who shows their positive attitude and strong work ethic every day. While working toward his or her goals, this student attends school regularly fulfills commitments to friends, and always promotes respect and teamwork. He or she walks through our doors each day with a positive attitude and is ready to face the tasks and challenges that lay ahead. At this age, friends often begin to take priority over academics. Fortunately, this student has found a very good balance between the two. He or she has gained acceptance and respect from their peers by developing a positive relationship both with them and others throughout our school community. He or she shows perseverance when faced with challenges. They demonstrate kindness and a willingness to help and encourage their peers. This student is a valuable group member during collaborative activities and is respectful in listening and accepting the opinions of others. This student always makes sure to make others feel included and welcome. Our recipient is fun to be around, reliable, and makes sound, responsible decisions. When a job needs to be done, the student will do it quickly and efficiently and with confidence. This student is active in our school community and helping out throughout the school. Today before you, I am extremely honored to be able to announce the recipient of the Principal's Award. Congratulations to Avery Devon. Hi, you did it. Congratulations on graduating grade eight. All your hard work paid off. I hope you have a great summer and I wish you continued success in high school. Hi, Grade 8. It's Mr. Papel here. Just wanting to wish you all well and good luck over the summer. You guys have been working hard for the last couple of years. I know it hasn't been normal, 
but we've all been proud of you and we wish you all the best in grade nine. Congratulations. Hello to all intermediate students at CPHS. Uh, I'm speaking to you today to wish you a farewell to all for this summer break. Wishing you a super summer full of fun. Please be safely social with family and friends and stay off your screens for a break. Uh, try to be physically active every day. Stay positive, stay bear strong. And I look forward to seeing you all back at our bear's den to hopefully a way more normal school year. You deserve it. Take care, Mr. Belial. Hey everyone, it's Ms. Morell. I just want to offer a huge congratulations to our grade 8 grads on this amazing accomplishment. You made it through not one, but two very weird school years and continue to grow academically and personally, overcoming any challenges that were thrown in your direction. I know you're all going to do amazing things in high school and wherever life may take you after that. I hope you all continue to find the fun in anything you're doing and face every challenge with a smile. Because as long as you're smiling and having fun, you're winning in my books. Hope you all have the best summer and the best time in grade nine, and I hope you come back to visit us sometime. I'm now gonna pass the phone off to someone who enjoys their unicorn onesie a little too much. Hi, hello, salut les jeunes. Uh, from one unicorn to another, I want to say merci pour avoir rendu cette année super mémorable. Euh, je n'ai jamais vous oublié. Ça, c'est sûr et certain. Um, félicitations, graduates, on showing us resilience, your grit, with a smile, on most days. And um, good luck in high school. Uh, pay us a visit once in a while. It would be nice to see you. And um, on that note, I will pass this message on to someone who has the ability to tell really bad jokes. Congratulations, folks. This marks the end of 10 years of schooling. What a huge accomplishment. You guys deserve to be celebrated, but what a wild way to finish that elementary journey. Um, hopefully at the end of all this, our biggest takeaway, our biggest lesson that we could have learned is that it's not about what we do. It's not about what we have. It's all about who we have with us and in our corner. So let's keep that in mind as we start this next journey in our lives. Congratulations, guys. I cannot wait to see how you succeed in high school. All right, I'm going to pass this phone off to the guy who's got way too many polos in his closet. Hey, grade eights. It's been such a joy to watch all of you grow at CPHS over the past two years. You persevered through so much in such a difficult situation. Keep positive and keep working hard in high school. I can't wait to see all the positive and awesome things you're going to continue to do. And always know that we have your back. Good luck. I miss you all. Bonjour à tous. It is Madame Fournay. Congratulations on graduating grade eight. I wish you all the best in high school. Uh, I know you guys are going to do fantastic. Congratulations to the class of 2021. On behalf of CPHS, we wish you a wonderful and safe summer and look forward to seeing you in September as you begin your grade nine journey. All the best.